How's it going guys? Let's mine coins here. It's gonna come at you with a quick tutorial video on how to modify the BIOS on your AMD Polaris cards. Specifically the 470 to 580, 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte models. So what you're gonna want is you're gonna need these three programs to modify the BIOS and re uh, program your card. First one's gonna be a uh, GPU Z. That's gonna be what you're gonna use to take the BIOS off your card. And AMD VB Flash, this is the program that's gonna program your card with the new modified BIOS. And Polaris BIOS Editor. This is the program that you will modify the card with one click. And honestly, uh, if you have all these already on your computer, you can probably mod your card in less than five minutes, honestly. So let's see here. What we're gonna need to do is download the GPU Z. We're gonna go to this website. I'm gonna have everything down in the description below. So you can just click the links and go right to this page. Click the download, get that on your computer. Go to the AMD VB Flash page. Um, it'll look like this. Click the link, scroll down, click on one of the mirrors. And then for the Polaris BIOS editor, we're going to the GitHub and just download the zip right here. So you're gonna start by open up your GPU Z and saving your BIOS by clicking this button here to save BIOS. Save it to your desktop, make it easy. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do this because the software I'm using to record this glitches out every time I try. So yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to use any of these softwares while I'm recording. I don't know why OBS doesn't let me, but whatever. So get your BIOS on your, on your desktop. We're gonna wanna move over to our BIOS editor now. And this is a one-click BIOS edit. You're not going to have to do nothing but press one button and maybe press yes and okay a few times. So let's say we have our BIOS here. I have a bunch of them because I do work for people on eBay for the people who don't know how to do this. And if you do want, you know, just for me to do it, you can just click my eBay link down below and purchase one of my mods and I'll go ahead and do this for you. But let's go ahead and just use this one. It's the RX 580 8GB. And I'll go ahead and open it up gonna look something like this. Just click the one click timing patch. I'm gonna click yes, okay. Yes, we want universal timing, okay. And no, we're not gonna buy the pro version. And it's simple as that. This uh, BIOS is modded. So we're gonna save as, put it as eight gigabyte ROM and we're gonna change it to, just add mod at the end just so you can know the difference between the two. Save that. And I already had one already named the same, so it doesn't really matter. But close that all up. You're done modifying. Your BIOS is now modded. Now you're going to want to go to your AMD VB Flash. Open it up. Unfortunately, I can't do it here, but I can still show you a visual of what you're going to do. It's going to look something like this. Have your cards in here. Uh, you won't be able to do more than three at a time. So if you have like a six or you know four or more card rig, you're going to have to take off some cards and only do three at a time. But you're going to want to go ahead and load that image that we just modded. Uh, it should come up here to say whatever, you know, wherever it is at. You're going to load it up and then program your card. After you're done with the program, you should say, uh, you know, don't turn off your computer. Because if you do, your card will get bricked if you do that. So do not touch your computer while it's doing the modifications. After it's done, it'll come up as successful. And then... At that point, you're going to want to just restart your computer, and then there you go. Your BIOS should be modded on your card, and before you, wanna, before you open up a miner or anything, you should switch it to compute mode, so I'll, I'll add this as well. It's a little tool to switch your card to compute mode if you're using Windows. I'll add this down in the description as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and let me show you my overclocks and hive I use for these cards. Let me switch to the right rig. It is right here. So look, we're using 850 megavolts for the core and for the memory. And as well, uh, the memory overclock is going to be anywhere from 2000 to 2150. Core will be 1150. It's the most stable settings I have. And if you're using Windows and using a pool miner, you're going to want to add this directly to your bat file. And that will get you the same effects as what you've seen in my hive. My high farm.
All right, guys. Well, this is a quick video. Just wanted to show you how to do that because I know there's a lot of people out there that need to get their BIOSes edited, and I know this helps uh, a lot of you, you guys out there. So please, if you like the video, leave a, a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding more content like this, uh, as well as uh, I'll be doing a build on a gaming computer, turning it from just a, a regular one-card computer that plays games into a five-card mining rig. So I'll upload that hopefully within the next couple weeks when I get my cards in. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, please like and subscribe to my channel if you did. And I hope you guys have a good one.